Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Create Above and Beyond. Glad you could join us today. This is episode 13, and we're going to be getting further on in chapter two. <laughs> so uh, I think we're going to try to finish up uh, chapter two today. We'll try. Uh, if you're new here, make sure you guys hit that uh, subscribe button with that bell notification. And also don't forget to like the, the video. It really, really helps me or the channel. Really, really appreciate it. All right, <laughs> enough of that. Um, I did uh, did go into the nether. Um, kind of messed around in there a little bit. Kind of prepping for some other stuff. And we'll get to that. We're not going to do that today. That's another day. I died a billion times in there. Uh, it kind of sucks. <laughs> Big time. But <clears throat> today we're going to be working on... Let's open up our quests here. And I'm hoping that we can actually get this completed today. I'm hoping. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's too difficult to get here. I have been playing around with the quartz processing, but we're going to have to manually do things for the time being, which really sucks. It is what it is. Whatever. Um, so there's a lot to get done today. We do need to get sandpaper, uh, and we also do need to have the... the um, rose quartz uh actually no i take that back i don't we can use the destabilized redstone with our pure serious quartz inside of a mixer or with a mixer and a basin we'll make our polished and that's what we're going to be doing here we're going to be growing it now we can actually recycle the pure uh certus quartz if we put them back through a millstone I is it a millstone yes millstone we can create one sand, which then turns into two seeds. So we don't have any way of manually saying, hey, I want I want to take one of the seeds and, or, or I'm sorry, one of the Certus Quartz that are off of these and, and have that go in and get processed to create the Rose Quartz. Um, what was it? Rose Quartz. What was it called now? polished rose quartz or i guess it's just rose quartz it's rose quartz okay um and go that way until we actually i think we get into the brass machines which we're going to uh because then it allows us if we go in here uh, not brass what am i thinking here create we have the ability to use uh filtering in some of the things as well as where is it at here um, the, the brass tunnel. Now the brass tunnel gives us the ability to choose some things like we can do round robin so that, um, items go out different directions, um, <clears throat> or different outputs. And this will allow us to choose one, go one way, one, go the other way. We're not there yet. We're going to have to get there and create that. But we do have our destabilized redstone. I did get this powered or, uh, getting this fuel. And we're using the oak logs from our tree farm, which actually is pretty adequate. And this is actually working really slick, this whole procedure here. But I was going to put a uh, a belt across here, a conveyor belt. But I figured out something new, and I had no idea until I was messing around in JEI. And that's this thing, weighted ejector. This thing is insane. I actually created a world and played around with this quite a bit um yeah if you place some I'm, I'm sure i'm sure you guys know about this it's just that i had no clue um you place something on here and it will eject it to the place that you select it and if you put it at the end of the conveyor this will actually just keep on going um completely until the end of time <laughs> so uh but this is the kind of the setup that we're going to be going with um, and, and I'm going to put this down here, I believe. Uh, or maybe maybe I'll put this alongside here. I don't know if we're ever going to be using the uh, Volatile Sky Solution or the Destabilized Redstone for anything else, but maybe I'll just have the conveyor belt run right along the side here because we do need to tap into this. And, uh, and then we're going to need to combine that with another process, which we're going to need to get sand. So... The only way we can get sand currently right now, because we don't have brass or, yeah, the brass processing, is to use our 
handy dandy strainer bases, which kind of sucks, but I don't think I have any sand currently. Uh, this might have, oh yeah, we do have some sand in here. I just saw an Enderman over there. Did you see that? He was just like hanging out right there. Um, weird things. Um, do I, no, that was wool because I was cleaning some wool. We're going to be getting into uh, some additional power here pretty soon. Uh, crap, you know what I don't have? What did I do with my wrench? Um, <clears throat> we're going to need to get some additional power because the power that we have is is getting close to being maxed out. Um, yeah, And that's kind of the reason why I wanted the nether to kind of look for soul sand. Uh, excuse me, uh, but I didn't quite finish that. So let's get to building here. And like I said, I think I was going to add off to the side here. Maybe I'll just start here. And we'll go, like, this direction. I uh, don't have everything. Do I? Here, let's grab the gearboxes, the belts, and a site. I think we're going to need some weighted ejectors, so I'll grab those. And I will probably be using... Um, I don't know if I'm going to be using a chest or not. But So let's get that rolling. We're definitely going to need some pipes. So let's get the weighted, weighted ejector. I think we should probably move this down just a little bit. I don't think we need it that long. So the way that this works is you, you go to the spot where you want it to eject to and you right click on it. So it selects it and you can go in kind of a straight line from it. So you can't go diagonally. It doesn't work. So we're going to come over here and we're going to place this. And you can see it's green and it should be working correctly. And we just need to power that. Um, I'm going to need to, we can use some encased, we'll put it on the opposite side, I think. There we go. And that will tick down. The faster this runs, or the faster we have this, the faster it will go, but this will be probably quick enough. Uh, let me go ahead and sleep, I'll be right back. All right, so we could technically steal everything from here. We do need some spouts, and we do need a millstone because we're going to need to mill down the, um, the, well, first of all, we need to make the seeds and I think we're gonna have to mix the seeds up, right? Um, so we use a mixer to mix the seeds and this is probably gonna be, I'm, I'm thinking, I wonder if we should even have this on the conveyor belt or not. Eh, maybe, do we, do we even have a mixer? I don't think we have a mixer. I'm gonna have to probably build one. No, we do have some basins. I do remember. Do we have any? Yeah, we got some. Actually, let's grab some andesite. Uh, and then maybe what we'll do, we'll have that sitting here with the basin. And then once it's mixed, it'll go into here, but this this output will also fall over there and just start this whole process over again. We do need enough room for the uh, the spouts, and we're going to be placing four spouts. Now, we could just have one. Oh, you know what? We need access to water. Ah, that should be fine. We should be able to pipe this up and over, hopefully. Actually, we could go underneath, under the ground, too. It's a little bit longer of a distance. You know, actually, if I was smart, I would have this set up right here. Because then we have the water here, and then we also have the the destabilized redstone. Let's do that. Actually, I would actually kind of like that better. So let me uh, let me get this set up here. Let's fill this in because we don't need it. We'll do something like this. Okay. And then we'll make it kind of long. We can we maybe we could just have it close. Now let's make it a one off. Like something like this. There we go. That'll work. Uh, it's going the right direction. We do have access to water there. We'll just pump that out. And we can just hook it right up to there too. That will work perfectly. And then here we can we'll somehow hook it up. So let's get this up 
off the ground. And this will be our manual placement and mixing. Um, I have that. Maybe we should put it on the other side. Yeah, design design issues. That's what <laughs> that's always what I run into. Because if we put this over maybe like right here, the mixer's gonna sit up here, and maybe I could pull off of these. Because it's gonna need to have enough speed, right? Uh let's put the weighted ejector down here. Now, the weighted ejector can throw a long, a long, long way. So uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. Let's add a space. So let's put our weighted ejector here. And we only need it to start at the beginning of the spouts. So maybe we'll have it land here and put that there. Perfect. Let's grab some encased drives here and we'll get that hooked up. Perfect. And, oh, realistically, we can just get rid of that and hook this up a little bit differently because this is going the right direction. Look at that. Cool. And we can beautify it, like doing something like that. Nice. Uh, let me go grab the mixer, which I'm going to have to create, um, get that mixed or uh, mixed up. Let me go get that mixed up, and then I'll be right back. All right, while I was over here making the mixer, I thought I'd make a little bit of, or a couple of spouts that we're gonna need. And then I also went and picked up a rubber and I found out we have a ton of it. Um, can we put all the rubber in here? Yes. Uh, so I did create some sealed mechanisms. We have a lot of kinetic, <laughs> kinetic mechanisms. We have a whole bunch over here as well, 7,502. So we'll we'll probably get this rocking and rolling at some point in time. We do have quite a bit of money. We have 205 silver. We can convert those over to gold and get um, some of the indestructible saws because I've been creating the saws and get them going. Um, kind of a pain. But let's go ahead and create some of these copper, um, copper casings so we can make these copper machines. We need a total of four. I don't think I have any. So we only need two uh, copper sheets. Do I have any copper? I don't think so. No, I don't see any. So I do have some copper, I think. What what I do with it? Uh-oh. Right here, copper. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, we already have the... Um, We already have what we need. Let's just drop one. We don't need all of them. And... Here we go. We just need some oak logs, which we have an abundant of. We're actually overflowing. So this should create four of them for us. Here's what we need. Uh, where, where, where's our oak log? There it is. Um, unfortunately, oak log. Oh, I could have brought it, grabbed it from here. Forgot. All right. So we just need to put these in the center and surround it with the sealed machines. We got plenty of those. Now, we could probably place these over here somewhere. Let's just put them right there, right now. Perfect. And we need to make some funnels. So we do have a bunch of iron. Do we have any chests made? I don't. So let's make a couple chests. Uh, we'll make a bunch here. Now, I was kind of thinking of putting a, a chest at each one of these stages here. So when it is backed up, we will have like kind of an abundance of items uh, because we will get more planks um, if we did put this here. But I, I, I just kind of thought, well, we'll do it another time. <laughs> I, well, I haven't gotten around to it yet. So we need a total of four. There we go, we got four of them. And might as well throw, oh, nope, nope. Don't throw the hoppers in there, throw those in there. And then we need these and the hoppers and that should create us our four spouts. Sweet. Now, we just need to pipe water to these guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this hooked up here. It's just gonna be pretty simple. Just pop, 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 plop. And I'm gonna get the liquid hooked up. Um, we're gonna have to get the sand. Uh, like I said, the time being, this is gonna be pretty simple. 
Um, I'll have to get a uh, a strainer base with a filter so we can get some sand and we need to filter out just the sand. Well, I actually, I've got some sand. Maybe I'll just put um, an, a drawer there and just put that going in there. So let me, let me just kind of get things uh, put together because I kind of want to get this stuff... This this done. Um, this episode. And we're getting dark anyhow. So let me um when I when I get back, I'll be probably having everything hooked up and ready to turn on. And we're just gonna grab the white sand here. So I'll see you back in a second. Alright, so I think I got everything that's eh, it's janky. It it's actually not a hundred percent because this setup right here does not work. <laughs> I, I don't I don't want to move this. I put this in place. And uh yeah, it's probably gonna screw things up. I just have a feeling. Like this will probably get clay in there for some reason and we'll have issues. But um we're gonna go ahead and get this started. Now we do need a, quite a few to get going, and then once we have the ability to sort with the brass. Um, contraptions when we could start doing filtering we can then fully automate this to be kind of like one thing uh, we'll have to have some way of crushing down and then uh, maybe crushing the item um, once it comes off the line here and so we'll have like a round robin like one will go to the storage which then will go off to the next group and then another one will go I don't know back onto this and then that will get flipped. I don't know. Or, or it'll just get pulled here or maybe on the other side. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll figure it out when we get there. Um, but for the time being, we need to get this party. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, party started. We need to get these mixed up. Now, I'm thinking of starting with a half a batch here. So we'll... Oh, that's not what I want to do. I want to throw in there. Shoot. Can we... Can we chuck that sand back in there? There we go. Actually, can we just do that? Yeah, that'll work. Oh, and I have the wrong rest. I have that on there. So good. Now this should create the seeds. And then once those seeds come out, they have to get hit four times with water. That's why I have four of these. So each one of these should be a stage. And hopefully the water will keep up. It seems like it might not be. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll, uh, oops, actually take that stuff out. We'll leave these. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> we've got a, we've got an issue here. This is actually hitting, I didn't test this out beforehand. It's hitting this. So let me go ahead and pick up all these before they get flung all over the place and we lose them. Let's just make sure that they all get, there we go. We got to get a little bit of growth. Uh, we're going to have to expand this down a little. So we'll just add this out one. Try again. Hopefully. Grab another chain case chain drive. We'll get that going. Hopefully that this will then fly. Nope. I don't know where it went. <laughs> Oh no, um, probably just horrible placement for all this. No, it ended up up here. Shoot. Uh, this is going to send me flying. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to have to may, uh, I don't want to move this, but it might just have to, um, can I not? Oh crap. Oh boy. That's the only problem with having fast moving belts. You get a crouch and then let's see you here. Oh, missed it. What I could do is just grab these down here. Ah, uh, stop fooling with me. There we go. Um, maybe back a little bit further. I was trying to keep this as compact as possible.
Oh, oops. That was not the deal. Oh, I, yeah, that was the deal. <laughs> Let's move it back to here. Grab some more encased. If we go this far, we'll probably use a belt instead of the encased drives. Let's see if we... Hey, we got it. All right. <laughs> uh, we'll chuck these on here. And then once we have a full... Um, Pure, because I don't have a pure andes or not pure andesite, um, a pure surs quartz. We'll place this in here with an andesite uh, funnel. So hopefully, with this being backed up a little bit, it will allow the water to kind of rejuvenate. But we should be able to make this once we have the the brass stuff. But. Uh, Let's uh, let's wait until this is finished. Yeah, this is definitely keeping sand in here. Um, that will be very important. So we're going to have to figure this out once we have the brass, I think. We're getting pretty close. So we'll let this... Uh, are those done? I think they're one more stage. Uh, let's take a look and see what we got to do next while that's processing. So... We need, actually, oh crap, we're supposed to pick up each stage. So we'll have that stage. <laughs> um, let's see here, can we throw in just another quartz? I'll go ahead and grab this one. There we go. Why is that not? Why can't I check that off the list? I have it in my hand. I have it. <laughs> do I need two of them? I have four of them. I do have some on me. I gotta hold them? What do I gotta do? Certus quartz. Oh, crap. I have nether quartz. Ew. I've got the wrong stuff. <laughs> Let me fix this. I'll go grab... I do have some certus quartz. I can't believe I read that and I even just... Did the nether. Dang it. Um, oh, man. Let's put that away. We do have some Certus Quartz in here. We'll just do four. Wow. Feel really dumb. Feel really dumb. So let me get these finished into the, the correct stage. Um, running these through. You get the idea what I'm doing. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got everything working here. Well, uh, somewhat. Uh, we are creating the seeds. I am creating hopefully enough to create one brass uh, contrap or uh, well, we're gonna create the precision mechanism, but that should allow us to create one brass machine. Then we can use the brass machine to get this completely working, I'm hoping. Because then we can sort these out and then reprocess everything. But we need to get to that yet. So the next thing on our list is we need to start making some polished rose quartz. And by doing that, we're going to be mixing our destabilized redstone with our pure uh, certus quartz. Now, this, this is where I got mixed up before. I saw that we do nether quartz as well. So I'm not sure if nether quartz has the same properties uh, where we can grind this down. And then it does. So we have nether quartz. We didn't have to use serious quartz, but to get moving here, we did. So I am going to start kind of like a little mixing location here where we just need to mix the items and then get it onto a conveyor belt or actually... Yeah, we need to store these items, and then we're going to have to place them in two. Let's see here. Why am I out of here? I need two electro electron tubes in two different deployers. So we'll have to figure that out. Maybe we'll use the weighted ejector for that. Um, but we do need to separate them. 
And that's going to be another thing too. Maybe I'll just, for the time being, again, we'll, we'll do it manually. Uh, but we need to get the mixer set up. So I'm thinking we'll do something along this line. And then we'll have, say, um, where's my... Is that andesite casing? Yeah. We'll just have it come down in here into a chest for the time being. Perfect. Let's grab a basin. And we'll do it right back here. So we'll place it in through that way. Do I have another mixer? I do. I did go create another mixer. That's perfect. There we go. So we just pipe that into there, and then we're going to need to get some power. So I'm going to have to hook some something up here to make it work. But we'll make that work. Let me go sleep, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the mixer hooked up. We've got things going here. Oh, that's the wrong thing. We got ourselves a mechanical pump. that we, Now we just got to get pumping. Let's see here. How can we get this hooked up properly? There's no such thing as properly, I don't think. <laughs> um, of course, that's going to have to go that way. So maybe what's the best way to do in this? Kind of thinking maybe I go something like this. There we go. Sweet. I just got to pump that baby into there. And then I'm going to have to manually do this for the time being. Oh, it looks like we have a stoppage here. So there's too many. So unfortunately, that's going to have to have a limit on there. Um, and we're going to grab out all these. And place them... Carefully in here. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm going to have to throw them in there. Yeah. And these should create our quartz. There we go. We got them all in there. Sweet. There we go. We've got our quartz. Uh, our polished rose quartz. Sweet. We can, uh, we can accept that. Now we just need to make this where we take molten iron and put it onto the gross quartz. Now, there's a couple different ways of doing this. Oh, I've got a couple down here. Oh, didn't go in. Come on. Did it go in finally? I think it did. <laughs> All right, so we, we've got quite a few there. I think we got 20. Um, to get the iron, we could go ahead and do the mixing with a superheated, and that's going to require a blaze burner. Now, the reason why I've been working on the nether is because we got to figure out where the, where there's a, a, a fortress and get to the fortress carefully. I did a little exploring inside the nether. It's terrifying. <laughs> with biomes aplenty. It is absolutely terrifying. So what I'm thinking of doing is we're going to use uh, Tinker's. Um, we're we're actually just going to use Tinker's uh, found or melting, I think, and just put a couple ingots in there and then export it. Now I could probably do like a full smeltery, um, like we do here. I mean, we do have enough that we could, but I think this is just a little bit overkill. And the only problem is I'm going to have to supply fuel to it. Now, with the melting or the whatever that is called. Yeah, melting. Just the, the basic one. Uh, I think we could put coal in there or we could probably put wood. And so we could probably transfer some of the wood that's up there into that as well. But yeah. Uh, looks like these are finished. We got 13 more. So let's grab 13. Uh, actually, leave leave one in here. <laughs> actually, we'll leave a couple in there. Um, 
And we will get this so it's transferred over here as well. That's not going to make it in there. Oh, we do have one extra here. One extra. We got to get on that. Get that going. Um, so, yeah, I think that's the way we're going to do it for the time being is we're going to melt it ourselves until we can go into the nether and get ourselves superheated. Um, I'm going the wrong way here. Um, the superheated, uh, or the, the, I'm sorry, the blaze burner, which then we have to feed blaze cakes. And to do the blaze cakes, we need lava. And to produce lava, we need um, cobblestone, which we do have a bunch of cobblestone. We can create a cobblestone generator. Uh, but we need, again, the blaze cakes. So it's kind of like this big process going around. And then create the blaze cake. We also have to play, uh, create this as well. I am getting eggs um, with my bird farm. Actually, I'm producing eggs, which is good. We do have sugar. We'll have to create a sugar farm. Um, the cinder flower is something that we cannot do currently. When we get brass machines, we will because that's what we need. We need the machine craft or mechanical crafters. And uh, I can't wait until we get that because that opens up a lot more things we can do. Um, can I not throw... I'm, I'm horrible at throwing, apparently. They're missing completely. Get in there. I think another one went on the belt. No, that's good. So, um, I think our next step to do is create these. So, we're going to need the molten iron. And uh, we're going to... Maybe I'll just create a small little foundry. And then we can export items out there. I'm hoping... I'm hoping the mechanical pump will do that. So, um, again, I am going to go about grabbing what we need. Now, we are creating iron automatically, which is good. Um, what do I need here? I don't need a mixer. Oops, I put that on my list. Oh, I need grout. <laughs> uh, I need the grout, unless I have some here for the... I do have some seared. I don't know if I have enough. I don't have any bricks to make anything else. So let me go ahead and craft everything we need for the Tinker's Smeltery. I think that's the direction we'll go. And uh, go from there. We'll see you guys. Oh, boy. Yep. My boys are back. Um, I'll be back after I get these guys all taken care of. Oh, boy. Need food. Okay. I think we're ready to get this finished off here. Uh, I did build a little bit bigger found or uh, smeltery. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. All right. I always place that down like that. I wonder if anybody else has that problem. Um, but we've got two blocks and six ingots in there. I added a bunch of lava here um, for the fuel source. We do have a hopper of input, and we also do have a seared drain, which I'm hoping we can pull from. I hope. So let's go grab a spout, which I think we have everything we need. Yep. And we should have everything else. We just got to get it powered up. And at this some point in time, this will get replaced. But right now, this is it is what it is. And I think we're going to place it right there. Let's make a pump. Let's hope this works. Oh, that's not... That's not what I need. There we go. Now, we could use a smart pipe here to make sure that we're pumping out the right stuff. All I could do is probably... I wonder if I should have this just go straight through. Don't fall in. It's going to hurt. Oh, wait. That doesn't hurt? What? It usually does damage. <laughs> I guess not. I'm immune to it. Uh, where's the brick here? There we go. So I'll throw that there. There. Maybe it's only because uh, when the when it's set up, right? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it has to be one block up. Whatever. Doesn't matter. All right. That there. And then hook up that to there. And let's get up a window so we can see what's going on. Perfect. Now we just need to get that baby hooked up. Best way of hooking this up. Let's see here. We do it that way oh crap oh it's hurting now it's hurting now we can feel the pain now 
<laughs> uh, oops. Let's see here. I'm thinking we should go straight up on top. What just... I don't know what that noise was all about. How do we go about getting this hooked up to, say, this right here? I'm guessing I'm going to have to probably use a gearbox. Yeah, I've got this. So let's do a vertical gearbox here. Like so. And then we'll just extend that. I hope that will work. Let's jump up here. Oh no, I got blood in there now. Oops. That's right. I forgot that's what happens when you jump in there. Uh, can I extend this all the way down here? Oh, yes, I can. Oh, no. I was afraid of that. Um, we need new power. We need new power. 100% new power, because this is getting out of hand. We do have, I think, do I have any water wheels in here? We do have some water wheels that we can add. <clears throat> yes. Let's see if we can add them to our current existing system here. Actually, no, I can't. Uh-oh. We maxed out? We are maxed out. <laughs> um, these aren't producing the full amount. If I would have set them up a little bit differently, probably would have worked just fine. I wonder if I can go clear this section out. Let's try something new once. Uh, oops. That's fine. If I come down here... We want kind of the same area here, but I want it the opposite direction. That's the wrong direction. So if I sneak click, there we go. Cool. So that should share the water source. And then I should be able to bucket um, and have it going down into that direction. Then we'll hook it up down there. So let me sleep and get that hooked up. I'll show you once it's done. Um, I just want to be able to get finished with this uh, precise machine today. That's what my, my big goal is. So let me get this set up because I'm probably going to need... Nope, I probably have enough here. I need to put that there. So I will be right back once I get this all hooked up. All right, so this is what I did. I ended up coming down here. These all have 256. And all you have to do is have the water going over top and then put a block once the water's running right here. And it'll actually divert the water over top. Make sure this is all taken out here. And you should get 256 per. Now, we are gonna need to do a little bit different power later on. Uh, actually, pretty soon. That's why I kind of was washing some of the wool. When I was out doing some exploration, uh, I did come across some wool, and we're going to be creating a... Um, a windmill at some point in time, shortly. All right, perfect. So that, hopefully, is going to only pull out... Um, that actually might be an issue, because I need to only pull out iron and if i've got some other source in there i could pull out that so we're gonna need some way of draining it can i can i actually bucket that out no shoot um well we know how much we're gonna be putting in there oh well, kind of we do have Yeah, I guess the only shoot we have is here. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. So we could put a smart. 
what does it take to make a smart uh, pipe? Okay, so a copper machine. Uh, we, actually, do we have one on us? In our little baggie? No. Fortunately not. Um, I could go create one real fast. And maybe we could put one in here. I don't know if this is going to be an issue at all. But I could always... No, I can't move that up one. Trying to think, what would be the best solution here? What if I move this up one? No, nope, that's not going to work. Uh, let me go create one of these because uh, now that I screwed up and put blood in there, I could grab another. I could grab a shoot. Um, I'm trying to think what's the best way of getting that out of there. Because it's probably not enough to fill up a bucket. Oh boy. I wish I wouldn't have jumped in there. <laughs> and I don't think just breaking it is going to fix anything either. Oh, let's just create the smart fluid pipe anyways. Uh, we'll try putting it there. I don't know if we can... Oh, we're going to have to get some molten iron out anyway, aren't we? So I don't think... Oh god, that's spilling out. There's a leak. <laughs> oh, that's what I could do. I could just leak it out. We lost a crap ton of iron. Shoot. Well, I guess there's a thousand millibuckets in here, but... Dang. Um... Actually, here, let's do this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we got a bucket of iron. And then, can I carefully... I gotta hit this just right. There we go. Perfect. Um, now it's got blood in there. How in the heck did I get blood in there? Dang it! Can I... Can I empty this in here? No. I tell you, sometimes... <laughs> sometimes... Uh, things just do not work out very well. Uh, let's hurry up. Put that back on there. Molten iron. Well, lesson learned. Uh, we did get the blood out. We do have iron... We are producing more, so don't cry over it. Got another whole nother 64 here, and there's a bunch in there. Might as well throw that in there, get that getting replenished. And all right. Um yeah, we need that hooked up there so the belt is moving that direction. Let's move, let's pull that out. So this is what we're doing, right? <laughs> Let's just double check to make sure I got this right. We need molten iron on polished. Yep. Perfect. So let's grab an andesite funnel. Bada bing. Bada boom. Sweet. That's awesome. And uh, we should have enough iron. Now, a lot of this is going to be a little bit manual because it's kind of like the chicken before the, uh, or the egg before the chicken. So, or the chicken before the egg, however that saying goes. Um, we need to get everything kind of processed first before we can move forward. So now that we have this, we can pick up one of these and that will complete the autom or the electro electron tube. Um why can't I get smelted? Do I really have to create a copper pot? <sighs> I guess I gotta go create a copper pot before I can finish this one. I don't understand why. I guess... No, I don't understand why. If anybody knows why I have to do that, like, I guess I've never created the copper pot, so I have no idea what that's for. I'm just going to place it in there. 
No clue. But we can now move on to the next one, which we can check that off the list. Now, the this thing is going to need a screwdriver, and then we need to deploy them, but we're going to have to have two, um, two of these, um, you know, deployers. So let's get that set up next. Um, yeah. Okay, so why our gold is being processed here? We do need, I think, eight gold here to create two hands. Uh, we are to, or for the deployers, so we need three deployers total, so we're working on creating that. Uh, we do need... I guess we can throw this bucket of molten iron somewhere. Uh, let's see here. We do need a screwdriver, so let's go about making a screwdriver. It's three iron and two blue dye, which we can make blue dye easily just by taking blue, or the... Uh, uh, lapis and making dye. We don't have any iron on us. We do have here. So we should probably create maybe a couple of these. We'll just do a couple for the time being. Uh, well, since we have three, enough for three of them, we'll do three. Uh, it looks like our gold is done. Oops. Let's do this. And did I grab? Yeah, I have enough. I uh, don't have enough gold sheets. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, indeed. That's so weird. <laughs> Hanging on to that gold hand there. Uh, oh, we can make some more gold. Uh, we've got a bunch of gold nuggets. Something I found in the end. Or not the end, sorry. The, um, the nether. Let's throw that back in there. Wait to that process. I guess we can go ahead and create two of them. We have... Let's throw the bricks away here. We don't need those any longer. Just kind of clean up our inventory a little bit. Done with that. Okay, we'll keep the rest. We are probably going to need a chute so we, that we can um, throw these in one of the deployers. Okay, we've got enough to make another hand. So it's three hands. Bada bing, bada boom. Three deployers. Awesome. The fun part is going to try to get the, the deployers. It might just do it manually. Um, let's see here. Now the question is, well, what are we going to do? We need this kind of line here moving down the track. So I think what I want to do is clean this up because it's just was kind of for play. I'll get rid of you. And I think I'm going to bring a conveyor all the way down here. Oh, I missed you. Yeah. So let's hook up a conveyor. From here as far as we can hopefully this is going to be in front of oh yeah it's perfect this is going to work out awesome um why don't we go about here i kind of like this setup um it's kind of nice let's grab our inch um Ace chains. We're gonna have to make more of these. There we go. All right, we got a conveyor belt. Now we just need to. We could technically bring those back over here. But I'm thinking maybe we should just leave it there. Um, we do need to set up our deployers. Now, it is kind of important the way that we're going to set these up, like this. Not like that. So that they all hook together, so we only have to uh, run one. And that will 
do what we need. And then we'll need to set up, I think it's, I think the screwdriver's at the end. So we need a filter, filter there, and then the screwdriver at the end here. And then we can actually just give the screwdriver to this dude. Um, we just do it this way. Perfect. Does this just stay in there? It does until it's used. Awesome. Maybe I'll move it to the back or on the top. We'll see. We do need to get that powered. And then we're going to have to bring these also online. Um, maybe we'll move this up ahead. I'm thinking because then we can just have... Or no, I'm sorry. These need to go up to here. How do we do this? Um... How we had doing it over there was we kind of have it stopped and it has to fill one first and then fill the other and we're going to have that. So maybe for the time being we'll grab a couple hoppers and just manually place stuff in there. I think that's going to be our best bet. So then we could just say like one tube in there. We'll split this up. So 14 will go in there and that one will go in there. Sweet. Um, let's get this powered. How are we going to power this? How are we going to power this? We do have power here. Which, I gotta be careful not to die, not to fall in here again. Can I please bring power over? If I do something like that... Perfect. We've got power. And all three of those should be powered. Now, 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 we just need some kind of storage device. Uh, and a site casings. And I will probably make this a lot nicer um, in between episodes. So don't worry about that. And throw that there. Probably doesn't need to be that long. But we'll leave that for the time being. <laughs> and now, let's go ahead and create our first precise mechanism, is it? Uh, we're not going to wait this long. Let's grab a stack. <laughs> let's go down here. So um, we do have quite a few of these already. So which is cool. Let's just make sure that, that this is going to function. Could. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Our first one. Let's grab it off the conveyor line. Sweet. Precision mechanism. We've done it. We finish. We finish chapter. Chapter two is complete. So we need. Well, actually, no. Take that back. We do need to make a brass machine. Let's create a brass machine. Uh, congrats. Now you have the have a pa uh, passive supply of precision uh, mechanisms. Think of all the options you have to access. Um, after cleaning up and briefly scanning for bottlenecks, go ahead and check back with uh, the overview section. Okay. Uh-oh. We're already out. We're already out. <laughs> I think that's not what I wanted to do. Um, I think we have enough to create at least one. We could... Uh, actually, I was thinking we could probably launch it. Yeah, we could. We could not, we don't we don't have to technically use this. We could set up a launcher and launch a bunch down there, and maybe that's what I'll do, um, just to kind of save on belts. And that would kind of clean up things a little bit too. Look kind of cool. Uh, let's see here. We need I think. Let's go ahead and take a look. I wanted to get rid of that. There we go. Um, we need a brass casing, which is brass and wood. Okay, the question is, do we have brass? We, we might not. Oh boy. What 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 entails brass? Okay, we could press it. I don't care. Uh zinc and copper. Can we just buy it? How do we buy this? We need a trade station. I need brass and a dropper to make the trade station. <laughs> Cute. 
Um, brass. Can I make... What about brass liquid? Okay, so in a mixer, we just need molten copper and zinc. Oh, man. Okay. Is there any way of combining them inside the smelter or the foundry? Doesn't look like it. Molten copper and zinc. You have copper. Not very much, though. Let me sleep. Okay. So, do you have some zinc? Of zinc. I think maybe zinc's in here? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, boy. I don't know if we're going to have enough here. We have some copper sheets and some copper nuggets. Uh, that's that should be plenty to get what we need going here. Um, now we just got to figure out how we're gonna melt these together. What's the best solution here? It's got a bunch of molten iron. Mm. Oh, those are... <laughs> I want those in there. I want those. Okay, I'm going to have to think about this for a little bit. Because... Well, we could set up a smart... We could set up like a mixer here with smart pipe, right? So we already have one smart pipe, do we not? Yeah, we have one. So we could actually have both metals in here and make sure that we have the smart pipe set for a specific item and just have those both pipe into a mixer and that would get us what we need. I think we're going to try doing that. So we need two drain chutes. Actually, I think that's going to use copper. <laughs> um, oh, you know what? I processed some ores. Let's, let's do something here real quick. Oh, this is so messy. This is so messy. We have... I thought I had... Where was I processing ores? I'm lost. Is it here? Oh, here we go. Copper. We got tons of copper and tons of zinc. Oh, man. I was processing them here. I must have been throwing them in manually. I thought I had a like, hopper there, though. I was throwing them in. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay, so we got what we need. We'll throw the extra copper in there. We have the zinc. So we just need to make the shoot. I think it's bricks. Or no, it's not shoot, is it? Input items. No, because I can manually put the items in. They're, um... What is it called? Uh, drain. Yes. It is the bricks. So let's grab... We're going to need two drains, right? And we might as well make the smart pipes right away. Um, and also two pumps. So let's grab those out. Where was the smart? Okay, so... How do we make that again? Smart pipe. We just need a copper machine, which is sealed mechanism, which I don't think I have any... Of those create, I do. How many do I have? Six, seven, eight. And then we'll grab one of these guys. We'll mix one of these up real quick. 
copper casing. Oh man, I am running out of room. Um, let's throw that in there. One block of wood. There we go. Perfect. Throw that in there. Smart. We are some S M R T. <laughs> Smart. Um. All right, we'll do this one here. That one there. Perfect. That and that. Now, probably, probably then have the pumps. Where's my pipes? Right here. I think after that. So we'll do like this. And then we can power both those. Of course, going the opposite direction. Now, we need to have a bucket of the item that we need. And I think what I'm going to do is get some of these going here. Let's just do th four zinc and then um, four copper. Do I have copper in there already? No. And what we'll do is I think we can get like a filter. I think I already made one. I don't know where I put it. How's it? Just make a filter. Filter. Right here. Filter. Um, really easy to use. And it allows uh, controls output and inputs of uh, log logistical devices with more precision matching them against the set of items or several nested filters. So you can literally nest filters inside of uh, filters. So let's go ahead and create one of these. It's just wool with iron ingots, and we'll need two of them. One, two, three, four. And then the hunt is on for my wool. Here it is. One, two. Perfect. Now, I think we can do uh, zinc liquid, right? Uh, molten zinc. Come on. No, don't do this to me. Don't, don't do this to me. I would swear I could be able to do this. Oh, can I just do... Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, molten, it's a bucket. I think that should work. I hope. Uh, allow list. I don't know what this ignored... I think, yeah, that would be fine. Okay, that's one... Oh crap, which one is it now? <laughs> Let's separate these. Okay, this is the one with the zinc. I guess it doesn't really matter. Or no, this is the one with the zinc. Are they both zinc, maybe? They're both zinc. Um, and then we need copper. I'm hoping this works. And copper. Do I have to like hit okay? I didn't do that with that one. Perfect. All right, sweet. Um, we need a basin. We need a mixer. I don't have a mixer. Uh, let's throw this on andesite casing. Grab our pipes. Pipe, 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 pipe. Go. So one go there, one go there. And then we're going to need some way of pumping the liquid out. And I think what we're going to have to do is maybe pump it back into the, in, into there. So maybe we'll have this pump go back into the center. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to need another drain. We're going to need another drain. This episode is going long. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, two copper seared bricks, which I already have. So we'll stick them together. Grab one of those. 
We're gonna have to probably dig underneath here so we can get this hooked up. I should probably like set it at a different level. Yeah, well, we'll uh, we'll go for it. And so here, uh, actually, we don't. I don't think we need to do that. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm thinking that's going to be an issue. We might have to run. Oh, come on. I, I wasn't even touching that. We'll have to run the center pipe first, I think. Because that shouldn't connect. That shouldn't connect. And then we'll turn it completely to glass so they don't connect up. And then they should be good. There we go. And then we need to run a pump still, so we should put the pump right in the center. Did I build a pump yet? Don't believe so. Oh, actually, I want the pump here. Oops. Like, come on now. Come on now. Why are you having issues? Throw that there and then that there. Perfect. So all three of these, I just got to get one going. And they should all pump. So it should work, I hope. I'm sorry, I had it. I kicked it off. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, it's making molten brass. So that's not really the Best setup, I don't think. Let's make sure that we have molten copper. Doesn't seem like it's going back into the system. Oh boy. It's just tiny amount. What's what's happening here? Oh, is the filter not? Oh, I bet it's a sucking out. I know the molten brass isn't being sucked out. The other stuff is because I don't have a filter here. I don't have a filter. Is that going the right direction? Yeah. Still have the molten brass in here. What is going on here? So we have molten copper. What I'm guessing is it's cycling through. And the brass is not going back in for some reason. Yeah, it's just grabbing the copper and then the zinc. The zinc's coming through and then going back out. So I think we might have to build another filter and then put the filter on the recipe filter here so that we make sure that we're only pulling out the brass. Uh, what was it again? It was wool and nuggets. White wool. Two iron nuggets. Let's go ahead and brass, and then we could just put them in the nuggets, I hope, or ingots. Okay, so that should be what we need to say, hey, stop exporting. No, it's still not working. So I'm going to have to probably disconnect that. We're going to have to put a smart pipe in there. 
Um, might as well grab this off because that's not what we need. Uh, can we grab... Use the dirt. We should probably turn this off for the second. Let's just disconnect that so that we're not pumping anything accidentally. We're not losing anything. Um, I knew that was going to happen. We go like this. Nope. <laughs> Can I get this hooked up right? You are not going to play nice, are you? Nope. Oh my goodness. Um, do we need to place this somewhere else, maybe? Well, we could place it right here as well. There we go. You played nice there. Perfect. Now, two going out, one coming in. Oh, there we go. Let's see here. Let's just make sure it's glass so that nothing accidentally does things. So we have the molten brass still in here. We didn't lose anything. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, we don't have a uh, another iron incident. Let's hook this back up. Let's see if the brass the brass is there. It goes it goes back in. So do we have brass in here? Hey, we got brass. Sweet. Okay, so we can change this out to the nugget or the ingot, right? That's the ingot cast. Ingot cast. Let's just make sure that we have we have four brass. Here we go. Our first brass. Sweet. That actually took a little bit, but we could actually auto process it now right in here. We just need to feed it brass. Um, oh, I'm doing something else now. So we got four ingots. Uh, the steel. Uh, let's just throw the steel back in there. Cool. Um, let's, uh, I gotta sleep again. Someone should go through and count how many times I slept this episode. It's crazy. Um, let's get rid of that. Cool. Um, all right. What do we need now? We've got enough brass, I think. Yeah, we brass sheets, which if we flatten them, we have only one. That really kind of sucks. I wish we would have a little bit more. I wish it would like double it. Well, it makes sense. I mean, it does make sense. Okay. We'll get this processed up. We are going to need some way of maybe um, processing a little bit faster. Well, I guess we do get two brass casings per one, so that's kind of nice. Uh, and we need wood. Let's just grab... We'll grab one, two, three, four, because we're going to make all four of them here once they're all done. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Sweet. Um, we do have a precision. We can get this processed now. Thank goodness. And hey, there we go. Chapter completed. Nice. Oh, and gave us some brass ingots too. Awesome. Uh, I'm not sure how many, but congrats. Now you have uh, passive supply. So we don't technically have... 100% passive, but with this chapter being completed, we will have passive. Now, is there something here? Oh. That should fix it. Oh, so we did go pause for it. Uh, for less hassle with manual effort, it's recommended to set up an ingot to ingot semi autonom or automation for creating alloys using the setup. So yeah, we do... Actually, we kind of did that. Nice. So if we throw this in here, we have some now, we have some options. We have the brass funnel. We have the brass tunnel, which, so this allows us to get, um, allows us to do uh, filtering. Uh, so we can only filter certain items. Uh, this allows us to do, uh, allows us to do like round robin and um, <clears throat> kind of separate um, items off a little bit easier. 
I'm not sure about the content observer. We do have the furnace engine, so we can create a lot more power if we want it to. We could probably set this up too <clears throat> instead of the windmill. We'll look into that. Uh, mechanical arm, this allows me to place, grab things and place them. So we can have multiple different uh, items or pedestals and it can actually grab off of there and then place them into things. Uh, rotational con speed controller, not 100% sure. Uh, sequence gear shift, that's gonna be huge to, to start playing with. Um, stockpile switch, I'm not 100% sure with, and the brass pipe uh, module, which I, I don't know what these are. We had those other ones too. So um, lots of things that we can do. We are going to need to create a lot more of these, but I think the first thing is, and the first and foremost, is to get this automated. <laughs> so that we are constantly having a supply and this is i think where our bottleneck is currently um and then we also need to supply ourselves with iron into the system here so the iron production that we have going on right here um this actually might land really perfect for having our weight it because we could launch that down right down into here and then into our our foundry here so this actually might work out really perfectly the way this is laid out um i will have to probably clean this out and we will probably set up our own little um washing and smelting location because once we start using these for other purposes um yeah we, it's just it kind of breaks things down and why actually i think we have some problems here what's going on why are we Oh, here's the chest with the hopper. <laughs> That's what I was using. Um, what's back to... Oh, gosh. I found our issue here. That's why we're not getting any iron. I was like wondering, why, why is everything backed up? We have... How did that happen? How'd that fly away over there? Oh, I bet it got in the water somehow? I don't know. Maybe I'll have to put some protection up there. Cool. All right, guys. I appreciate you guys spending so much time here. Um, you probably skipped around, which is fine. I tried to keep it as small, the, the or the episode as short as possible. We got really, really long here. Um, but we did finish off uh, our chapter two, and um, which is super exciting. That gives us a lot more control over what we can do now uh, in terms of uh, moving and... Um, sorting things out instead of trying to figure out how, th how to do things otherwise. So uh, I think it's going to make the machines move a lot more efficient as well. And we can take like kind of mainline uh, resources and put them to other locations as well. Uh, and maybe, you know, we, we kind of have everything kind of cobbled together and maybe it's going to be best. Oop, I hit that uh, key too many times um, to maybe rethink some of these designs and I'm, I might just redo them. Um, and they, they might be supplemental videos. So if I end up doing that, I probably will have maybe a, another video per day instead of my original one. Just kind of showing uh, what I did to uh, refactor these these uh, setups here. So I hope you enjoyed. If you guys are, uh, if you like the video, make sure you guys hit the like button. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe. It really helps out the channel and also hit that bell notification. So you're notified when there is new videos available. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.